and hello the internet and everyone who's following and hello to my subscriber I bet you're a lot warmer than I am at the moment so what a difference a couple of days makes it's uh, I don't know you seem to lose when you're traveling you do so many things at once and you just lose track of time and at the moment I'm in Belfast and that's Belfast just behind me uh, a couple of days ago I left Santander uh, the ferry left at one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it was a bit lumpy going across the Bay of Biscay, which I didn't mind at all because I quite like it when it's a bit lumpy. And I got a great night's sleep. Um, then two nights ago, we got into Ross Lair in Southern Ireland. But the ferry got in about eight o'clock in the evening. And the forecast for that night was damp, wet roads and freezing conditions. So, but, oops a daisy. Someone's got a lot to say for himself. So the forecast for that night was um, freezing conditions. So I bought myself into a guest house, stayed overnight, and I left Rosslare yesterday morning. And it was quite a cold ride up to Belfast. So cold, but the time I got to Belfast, I went straight to a motorcycle shop and I bought myself an electrical jacket, plugged into the bike. And it took me about five minutes to wire it onto the bike. Uh, and I went for a ride, and it was great. It was toasty. It was £200, but £200 well spent. So, I uh, got to Belfast yesterday, and I had two options, really. I could either go to Scotland, or I could come over to Manchester to see my mum and my sister. And that's what I've decided to do. So, I stayed overnight in Belfast last night. Got to the ferry terminal this morning. And at the moment, I'm on the ferry to go over to Birkenhead. Uh, we're getting to Birkenhead about 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, I'm going to ride uh, over to Manchester. Spend the day or two with my mum and sister, say hello, because it's been a few months. And then I head, head up to Scotland. Rudely interrupted there. So there we go, that's me, I'm on the ferry, heading over to Liverpool, uh, over to Manchester for a couple of days, and then to complete my journey, I'll be heading up to Scotland, and that's it, the end of my journey, my travels are finished, until I start again, so I'll speak to you soon, bye bye. Anywhere I go And even though no one can tell I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how To handle it all
that no one else can carry this load It's a train where I'm the only passenger on board Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road But even so, I still feel that I'm Stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own
and hello the internet and everybody who's following and hello to my subscriber you're looking quite ferocious today and look at this i'm here i'm in scotland i'm back i've made it back in one piece me and the bike we're all back in one piece which is fantastic and uh, it's been nearly five months i've done 12,000 miles uh, I'm going to sit down and do a calculation about fuel and mileage and stuff like that. Well, there we go. But I can't believe a few days ago I was in Spain. Uh, I got the ferry over to Southern Ireland, uh, to Rosslare, came up to Belfast. Then from there, I went over to Liverpool, got the ferry over to Liverpool, went over to Manchester to see my mum and the sister. Uh, and today I've ridden up to Scotland and it's nine degrees and it's just been raining and that's a fine scottish welcome if it's raining and uh, i'm here back in helensboro and i've survived the bike survived and the bike's fine uh now i'm gonna rest for a few days and then i've got the job of getting the bike back to normal again she needs a damn good clean uh, i'm gonna get the seats off the tank off and get a power washer underneath because underneath the tank it's just full of the dirt from senegal uh, i need to replace the through the two front disc brakes i need to replace the disc brake on the back um i also need to take all the the brake calipers off to service to uh, take the pistons out to put new seals in there to service them because they're all manky and they're all gummed up with dirt and dust um i've got a feeling the clutch basket might need a little bit of work i don't know there's a little bit of a noise coming down there i'm not not sussed out where it's from yet but uh it's just but, but the bulk of the bike though this fine this will be suspension is still fine uh, but I'm going to go through it because my suspension at the front is a little bit firm, so I think the oil needs replacing. But I'll change all the oils, the fluids, and the filters, and, and she'll be back to she'll be back to normal again, ready to hit the road. Maybe uh, in June, something like that, May or June. I, I might just step over to Europe uh, for uh, another little trip. But there we go. But that's me, I'm back. Uh, it's been five months, just under five months, 12,000 miles. And I still can't believe that phew, two months ago, I was still in Senegal, you know, uh, amazing, for, you know, 40 odd degrees. And now I'm back in Scotland. <sighs> amazing. So this is the penultimate video because i'm going to do one more video after this i'll do a video just just talk about the bike talk about my luggage the luggage i took with me what luggage worked what things worked what things didn't work so that's the following video that's one more video so that's me i'm just down there about uh, half a mile so uh, i'm going to get in see if my flat is still there uh, I'm going to get the kettle on. I'm going to make. I'm going to put the heating on because uh, I've been still paying my gas and electric bills since I've away. I've been away, so I'll be in credit for my gas and electric. So I'm going to put my heating on and leave it on for a few days if I need to. But most of all, uh, I'm going to have a good, a good comfy sleep tonight in my own bed. But this is it. But on the way up, I was thinking to myself. Well, yesterday, actually, I was thinking, how will I feel on the last the last stretch? Will I feel emotional? Will I feel sad? And coming up today, I didn't feel emotional. I just felt sad. Um, I felt sad that I've had a good trip. I've had a long trip. And I've had an enjoyable trip. And I've had a, a heck of an experience. And I've all en enjoyed every moment. Would I do it again? Definitely. I'd do it again tomorrow. I just need to save some money first. Uh, and if I did that trip again, maybe something a bit smaller. Because when I got down to Senegal, she was a bit big for me. Uh, so something a bit smaller. But um, it's just been a blast. It's been great. Um, did I feel sad? No, no. I, I, yes, I, I did feel sad. I didn't feel as sad as I thought I would do. But I, just, I thought it's like when most good things come to an end. I think the biggest feeling is now is uh, that what I was feeling on the way up was what now? What do I do now? How do I fill my time? Um, so that's the main thing, really. So uh, I'm going to start looking for a job, <laughs> which is the first thing, uh, because if I can get a job, then I can start earning the money for more travels in the future. And I've got some travels. I've got some big travels I want to do in the future. 
So that's my main thing, to settle down, decompress, think about a job, and then think about the next trips, the things, the trips that come after this, the, the trips that come next. But there we go. Uh, it's over. It's done. So this is the penultimate video. One more video to come. And again, for everybody out there, thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the messages. And thanks for all the thumbs ups. And uh, I'm home. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.